hey guys welcome to protocol orders point okay so in this tutorial let's learn how to install mqtt broker that is emqx in our ubuntu server okay so let's begin so in this tutorial uh, i'm going to create a new aws server that is a ubuntu server and install emqx on that server okay so let's get started so let me create a new instance okay so i'm just selecting ubuntu server which is of 20.04 lts version okay and it is a free tier so i will not be charged until the free tier is been used okay so let me create okay so i need to assign a key pair for this server so i will just select the existing key pair so this is my existing key pair okay so if you want you can just create a new key pair if you want okay so instance is getting ready okay so our ubuntu instance is created okay so let's get connected to this instance by making use of putty terminal okay so just run putty okay so here i need to enter host name so I just copy the url the ip address okay data so inside data i need to enter my username my username is ubuntu okay and then here i need to give a ppk file to access my uh, server okay okay so our putty got connected to my server instance okay so on my website that is protocolespoint.com i have wrote a complete article on how to install emqx on ubuntu server so you can just visit my website so the link will be in the description and here you can find each and every command by which you can install emqx on server okay so let's use this and install emqx on my server okay okay so first thing is you need to install all the dependencies that are required for emqx okay so just copy this command and paste it over here so there are five uh, dependencies that are required so by running this you can just install it okay so the second thing is we need to create a gpg key for our emq broker okay so just copy this and paste it okay so you just need to uh, run all these commands one by one and it will just automatically install emqx and all the dependencies okay so just give a fingerprint so just create it okay and then you need to run the repository okay so just copy it and paste it over here okay so once all the repositories are been downloaded from the internet you need to run apt index uh, package okay so just copy this command again and paste it okay and then after completing all the steps finally we can install our emqx on my ubuntu by making use of this command so a sudo apt install emqx okay so just enter this okay so our emqx is been successfully installed on our server okay so to start emqx you just need to run sudo emqx start enter so it will just take 15 to 20 minutes to start sorry seconds to start okay so you can see here emqx broker 4.3.5 is successfully started okay so our emqx is started so you can just check if a emqx is running or no by running sudo emqx ping so if we enter this command so it emqx will return and response by saying as pong okay so it means that our emqx is running okay so now we have just installed emqx on our server instance so let get connected to our server by making use of emqx spy broker okay okay so here is my mqtt spy a tool by which you can just connect to your server mqtt broker okay so just open it 
okay so here is my tool by which i can just get connected so click on new connection okay so now we have just installed mqtt broker that is emqx on my server and here i have not provided any security for my emqx broker so i just need to enter my ip address over here so let me copy my ip address okay and now if i just get, click on this open connection okay so it will just get connected to our server so here it will just show us a green sign that it has been connected to our server okay so here you can just subscribe to our topic and publish the data okay uh, so here uh, i have not covered any security part in this tutorial so in this tutorial i have just covered uh, how to install uh, emqx on the server and how to connect to it so in the next upcoming part i am going to create a new video tutorial a separate video tutorial in which i am going to enable user authentication okay and by doing this a user need to type a username and password so that he can get connected to the server okay so this will be covered in the second part of this tutorial okay so that's all for this video tutorial so hope you got the concept of how to install emqx on server okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol point thank you